Hello Lagota lovers! Thank you everyone who subscribed and liked my videos. Today I will talk about grooming styles for Lagota Romagnola around the globe. I must apologize for the video and sound dissociation as my dogs had different plans for our conversation and I had to do voiceover but you can see my affectionate gang. First, let's talk about what the breed standards ask for. It calls for unpretentious clip to accentuate the natural rustic look. It calls for the coat not to be thicker than 4 cm or 2 inches and should be uniform with the silhouette of the dog. Only on the head the coat can be longer, but not so long as to cover the eyes. The area around genitals and anus should be clipped short. The coast must not be formed and brushed up in a fashion of poodles or bichon face, braids or clipped short preventing it from curling or assessment of the texture. To be honest, I have never seen a Lagota at the show here in Canada, BC, groomed in a natural rustic look. All dogs are shown with the blown out coat sprinkled with water to have superficial curls with excessive hair on the head and legs. So, if you wish to see a natural looking Lagotto, the show ring is not a place, but they are super fluffy and cute. The standard also asks for complete clipping at least once a year. However, it is not necessary if the coat is kept felt free throughout the year. It is a myth that complete shape down improves the coat's quality. There is no proof to this claim. The coat quality is influenced by genes and to some degree by nutrition and care. But if the breeding pair have coarse looking hair, offspring most likely will have similar features to the coat and no number of complete clippings are going to change that. By shaving puppy, however, the development of felts can be reduced and timing between the need to groom increased. So now we went through the breeding standards, we can talk about how Lagotti groomed in real life. Let's start with the complete shape down and progress to fluffy plush toys. For a complete clipping, I use number 7 and this blade and shave whole body, legs and head included. Perfect carefree groom for summertime. Another option is to shave the body and scissor legs and head to retain Lagota look, but also have a carefree groom. If you decide to choose this option, remember not to leave the hair on the head and legs too long, as the dog will look unbalanced. This is my favorite groom, and I think it suits most of my dogs. Um, if you are interested, you can watch Easy Combo Lagota Groom on my channel. Next groom is done with scissors and my second favorite. Fairly easy to do, scissoring with the same length contour of the body and leaving slightly longer hair on the head and legs. I usually cut about 1 cm from the body or less, but you can choose your own length as it is too short to form full curls for most dogs. A fancier groom would have a longer coat but no more than 4 cm and some call for different lengths for different parts of the body. I'm including a picture regarding that, but in my opinion, there is nothing natural and rustic about, exaggerated, uh, about exaggeration of the lines of the dog. However, if done right, with good overall balance, the dog looks very beautiful. Now we're done with grooms associated with Lagota and moving on to doodle style, where the tail and ears have long hair. As cute as they are, and of course it is the owner's preferences, the groom is not correct as a Lagota tail should resemble a carrot and ears should be as one with the head. Poodle style is when the head is groomed in a way that looks like a dog has a helmet. There are a lot of strange looking Lagota coming out of the grooming salons. But hopefully, as these dogs become more popular, the groomers, the groomers will learn um, the principles of Lagota Groom. If you found this information useful, please like it and share if you know someone who needs this info. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.